Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we're from Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back uh, to Friday's episode. Happy Friday. Continuation from Wednesday's episode. So if you haven't seen that, do yourself a flavor. Click on the link below and uh, go visit that first. Do so, I have to put a link below? I'll put a link below. Here. Point it right. Yeah, that's good. Right there. On the banana stand. <laughs> so, uh, uh, continuing to break in my uh, my new pipe here. Your Savinelli 420 in preparation of going to Denver? <laughs> no, son. It's not a 420. We are going to Denver. So. Yes, it's a 320. For those of you who don't know, 420 is the time that uh, the pot smokers used to gather... You grew up in a different era, you know? I don't know. I don't so, know what you were into. This is a Savinelli 320 pipe. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm going to have to go ahead and fill that again. I'm going to continue to fill it, though, with the Virginia number 1. And I've only filled it a little bit. But I thought I'd continue on and talk That's about breaking in pipes. Hmm. And I have something interesting I wanted to share with you. Um, that it took me forever, speaking of eBay took me forever to find this. I had uh, a search on eBay for about two years before the first one of these showed up, and then I missed that one. I couldn't afford it. And then the next one I used, what's it called again? Goof bid. Goof bid, and I won. Did you do that thing where you set your maximum price, and I did. then you go back and you change it when you get up? No, 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 no. I, I had a number. Huh. I stuck with it. So this is a device called the Pipe King. Pipe King is a, a machine that is designed to smoke your pipe for you. Mm. The guy that invented this actually has two patents. And those patents, I want to say, are 30 years apart. And he didn't go to market until he had his second patent. Wow. Because his first design just wasn't right. Wow. And worked and worked and worked on it until he got this. And then... This, when did you get this? A little while back. A little while back. I, I haven't used it. Yeah. Um, but let me show you. It's kind of interesting. So it's got packaged in with it. There's the uh, the AC adapter. Looks just like any old modern AC adapter. Hold on to that. What is this thing? Um, I don't know. Uh, 1984. Well, the year before I was born. So check this thing out. What you do is you set your pipe... In here, you plug it into this little rubber mouthpiece like that, and that this little stand is designed to support it uh -huh. if it's delicate, dangerous. You plug the AC adapter in there and you throw the switch. And what that does then is it begins to suck air through here and it exits out the back of the unit. It passes through this filter. Now this filter you want to compare it to the bag of filters that came with it, this filter shows me that it's been used. Yeah. Um, the idea behind this was, was three things. The first one was to break in your pipe for you so you didn't have to smoke your pipe through all the nastiness that it requires to break a pipe in. The second thing was as a pipe sweetener. You could purchase... That's. A, I have never seen... Sorry, I have, this is a... An AC adapter with what appears to be jack. a headphone jack. Yeah. It does look kind of odd, doesn't it? So, let's uh, let's set this up. Let's plug this in. I, I'm going to, but let's, let's put it somewhere where the good folks at home can see it. Hold and it. And the couple bad people that work. <laughs> I could work, but I uh, put it... I need something to... All right. Here, how about, how about some... Hello. How about some tins? I need uh, more of the Sutliff tins because they're all the same size. I don't have any of those. Yeah, you do. I have one of those. I have 17 two. of oh those. Okay, Hold on. I do have a few of those. Thank you, Sutliff. And we'll put this right here by the microphone so you can hear the heck out of it. Higher still? Yeah. Yeah. And these to the top. This, uh, we didn't practice this. I don't know if, don't know if that's uh, clear to you. There you go. Ooh, this is precarious. All right, now we need duct tape. 
We're not going to leave this up here for long, or or we will. Let's let's uh, load up. I have a, a natural or naked Washington here. No, I'm sorry. This is a um, Missouri Pride. We'll fill it up with this Virginia, and we'll probably just set this pipe on fire <laughs> doing this. The things we do for your entertainment. I don't know. We're entertained too, though. Yeah. So it won't. Uh, it won't tamp your pipe. It no, it doesn't it do that. You. It's a shame. All right, here we go. Now there's an adjustable vent here that we can turn, move, and that feels like it's solid. So look at the smoke coming out of the bowl now. Yeah. It's trying. All right. Turn it on. We'll, we'll set this to the side and let it run a little bit. Let's get rid of the stack of tobacco. Stack of tobacco. Here. Anyway, um, I mentioned there were three things. Number one, you could use the uh, pipe king to break in your pipe. Number two you could use it to sweeten your pipe. They sold a special chemical that you could put in to uh, dislodge any gunk that was in a previously smoked pipe. And uh, then by burning it a few times with a neutral tobacco like this Virginia, it would uh, clean the pipe. The third thing that they sold it for, and, and believe it or not, I, I, I do believe that they sold it for this, for people who wanted the smell of a pipe in the house, but who themselves were not smokers. Makes sense. So imagine my mother-in-law, whose husband was a pipe smoker, and she lost him many years ago. She might like to smell her husband's pipe tobacco every now and again. Yeah. Maybe even smoke from one of his own pipes. Yeah. Wouldn't Makes that sense. be cool? So you can do that with the Pipe King. It uh, it was not inexpensive. I'm, I'm happy to hear, see that it works. Um I'll probably never use it for its intended purpose. Well, I was uh, the reason I was curious when you got that is because a while ago, I remember ten or so years ago, you were trying to make. I did make one. Something like that. I did make one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was using that. It wasn't ten years ago. It was. I was still living in the house, so at least seven years ago. Okay. So I, I made one, yeah. and time, uh, time moves the, faster than the, you remember. The purpose of it was actually to test. The quality of the Missouri Meerschaum pipes versus the Chinese knockoffs that were coming in on the market, and um, what I found out was, I tested a couple of Missouri Meerschaum pipes in it, and it just it just smoked, and then I, uh, I I lit up one of the Chinese pipes, and I literally lit up one of the Chinese pipes. <laughs> it burned to the, a crisp that's right there cool. on my little smoker. So that's cool. You know. Yeah, it was uh, like he was. Salvaging parts from old computers, taking out the muffin fan for a muffin and, fan. Yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, yeah, you won't ever use that again, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you got it. Glad you have it. Uh, what do you think of Virginia? No one. It is nothing. I would say yeah. Absolutely, just 
a Virginia. It's about as little as you can smoke to create smoke. Yeah, I would say it's probably the perfect tobacco for someone who is going to inhale and mm. who's switching from cigarettes to a pipe. Yeah. So maybe a transitional tobacco or maybe a tobacco that you would use to blend in with another tobacco that is perhaps too strong. Yeah. So maybe you got a, a tobacco like... That rope that you know, oh, knock you over. Yeah, it's it's think it's about that stuff. really it's a very little bit sweet, but it is so mild it's almost mm. like there's like it's flavorless smoke, which you know yeah. But, but these are if, naturally sweet. If you said if the the smell that lingers is like cigarettes, then it may not be the best for someone like me who's trying not to stink too much. But I mean, what what's your experience with Virginias? Um, and I find them to be a little bit naturally sweet. Yeah, I, I definitely so got it's sweetness. Not, out not of a this. bad tobacco again mm-hmm. to blend with something that it, you are otherwise finding to be harsh. But yeah, this is this is like mixing something. It's like putting. It's like, it's putting, like ice cream before they even put in the vanilla. <laughs> it's just it's ice cream. Just base, cold then. milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for us for this week. Hope you guys have a good and safe weekend. Uh, we will see you again Wednesday morning, 7.30, same usual time. Um, I think we're going to be talking about some summer travel tips ah, with your pipe idea, and we'll some be tech. We'll be doing some traveling. So we will be, yeah. Uh, we're going to completely hide the illusion that we're changing clothes and filming these different times. I already told you, we're not. So uh, we'll see you guys in about five minutes. I suspect that next week <laughs> it'll be hot in my shop. Yeah, it's so hot. But <laughs> anyway. Right, make it a great weekend. Bye.